This is on normal distributions, and let's take a look at how to create a normal probability plot. So I'm going to go to my um, calculator, and we want to go and choose statistics one bar. So I down arrow to this, and I can press enter on it. In our first list here, we want to enter our numbers in, and I'll put in some numbers I got written down here. I got 12, 25, 36. 24, 19, 17, 18, uh, 23, and 25. Okay. After I um after I get those in there, then um. Got our, got our numbers entered in. There's uh, the num option here. Num option is this. That's the numeric view. Now we got the plot option. And that uh, plots, the, plots it. And if I do the symbol, this helps to do the setup. Like when you press plot initially, you may not see this. You have to go to symbol and you have to make sure this is selected. And you see how this is check marked? Um, this check button right here is what allows you to check mark it. The um, probably this is defaulted D1, but you see there's a D option here, um, and then you can put one in, and then press enter. If it doesn't say D1, and then to choose this, you can choose the choose option here. Or you can do the drop down, and you see you've got a. Uh, histogram, box, whisker, normal probability, line, bar, Pareto. You choose a normal probability. Or you can choose the choose here and then you use your arrow keys and press enter on whichever one. Again, after you get that set up, num, th this num option here takes you back to numeric view. So if you want to change your numbers. And again, a plot comes over here where you can see your, your um, normal probability plot. Now, if you choose, me choose the menu option here, then um, if you choose zoom and you scroll down you find the one that says um, auto scale and if we choose auto scale that'll zoom your window uh, with the best best viewing now from here this is your normal probability plot and this uh, this tells you whether it follows a normal distribution your your numbers now, um, I, I'll give it to you to refer to your book to see, um, to take a look at this and see if it um, follows your, your guidelines. You'll find different books have different um, guidelines on uh, how many outliers um, have to exist for it to not be a normal distribution and so forth. And, oops. If you um, want to zoom in on a particular part, you can do center on cursor. Um, let's see, we've got this one up here. So my eyes are seeing that, right? How many do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So um, this one and this one, if I try to draw my little guidelines that I've seen in other packages, you can kind of maybe visualize which one would be considered outliers, but again, I refer to your book to to um, see what see what's really happening with that. Again, to go back to numeric view, just go back to there. But that's how you create a normal probability plot on a HP Prime and exit out again. You just press apps.